If you're watching this video right now and you're not subscribed, it's very simple to support Not Nation and become part of the Nazi gang. Just hit that button down below, man. Let's go. Microphone check one, two, one, two. Testing out this little vlog kit I got going on here. The usual early morning walk with Zigzo. I tried to do this video yesterday, but my cameras died on my walk. So I just kind of revamped the setup. Looks sick though now, holy shit. And you know, I guess today I just want to talk about uh, a community question I had asked on the YouTube page. If, you have, if you're not subscribed yet, hit that button down below. That's what's up. But well, here's a question that I had asked on the page the other day. Question of the day was, how many dreadlocks do you have? How many dreadlocks do you have? Two blocks says eight. Bronze Diamond has no idea. Harley Bashir has 26, but now some of them have congoed to about 20. Um, Eric had about 65. Started freeforming. A lot of them are really skinny, maybe 25 or less now. Between 45 and 50 from Andrea Wolf. Nautical Novus says not really sure, maybe 20 to 40. Some thick Congos, some thin ones too. Most of them are knotted into the Congos. With 2B hair, Kyle N has about 20. Shangolian has nine. Key Joe has 69 a few months ago, but if I count my Congos, it's probably 50. Amy Chan, 95. Just went and counted them, bundled in groups of 10, counting the loose ones, 4C hair, and they're 10 months old. About 50. Aquarius Hawkins has 145 locks. That's a lot of locks. 100 locks from Jock, 9 from Married to Designer. So a pretty good ratio of numbers here. Lock a twist, 100 exactly. Like, it's it's insane for me to see that a lot of the people in this community have a very diverse range of dreadlocks. From the way that they're maintained to how many that we have on our head. Range from anywhere from eight to 180, like, a big difference. I feel like having fewer dreads actually makes things a little bit easier. Having hundreds upon hundreds of dreads definitely means that you know the hair is getting maintained, twisted, interlocked in some sort of sister lock way. Obviously it takes a lot more work, a lot more money to maintain that. Opposed to somebody with eight locks that might not even have to maintain them or if they do get them maintained it's definitely going to be through the wick style. So it's interesting. So, I mean, let me know in the comments below, how many dreadlocks do you have? If you haven't counted your own locks yet, what are you waiting for? Pause this video now, count them up, and leave the damn comment down below. Come on, Ziggy. Come on. Now, I feel like counting locks is actually a pretty important thing for us to do. It's not like anything crazy detrimental. But it's good to know. It's just good to know how many locks we have because it, it pr helps us practice the art of journaling. You know, take, take two minutes and just count how many locks you have. Write down today's date, put it in a journal with the number of locks and then count them again next year and the year after that just to see where your progression or degression goes in terms of uh, the fullness of your locks. Who knows? Who knows? It's just, I think it's just to have fun. It's just to have fun doing it, you know? So I'm definitely going to recount mine today as well for this video. 
and uh, we're gonna have to come back every year to see, you know, to see whose locks have changed the most, has changed the least, or whatever. Um, this is my this is my walking route. I'm kind of going off the track today, enjoying some autumn colors out here. You know, it's just it's the uh, tail end of autumn here. A lot of the leaves have fallen off already, but there's still some around. And it's freaking cold out again. So you can see I got my winter hat on and it probably looks like crap right now. I didn't really look at the mirror before I left. Yeah, just been working on getting some vlogs out there for the meantime. I feel like, I feel like I'm literally in a little, bit, a little bit of a lull right now, which is totally fine. This is where I want to be in this moment, just kind of chilling, laid back a bit more because I live in Toronto and the culture out here is actually like nose to the grindstone, like stay working as hard as you can, keep your head down and just make a paycheck. But I'm just like tired of that grind. I don't really want to be in that work, work culture. It's kind of toxic in a sense. And a lot of people now more than ever are quitting their jobs and leaving the workforce because of that same reason. So I'm really just utilizing this time to uh, make content and really just vibe out and see where I, I want to go in the next 10 years. Have any of you guys been in this predicament before? I would love to hear your thoughts. It's not that I want to reinvent myself. I just want to do shit that I love to do, right? And make money doing it. So I'm super blessed that this YouTube channel has gotten to where it is. Uh, you know, by all means, it doesn't make me a fortune of money, but it does provide me with enough to have a, you know, to have a lifestyle where I don't have to go to a toxic workforce. I'm my own boss. If I don't want to work one day, I don't have to work, you know, but I don't feel like making content for a whole week or a whole month. I don't have to make content for a month, you know, but of course I do face the consequences of those actions. If I take a month off, of course, I'm going to see a difference in my um, in my revenue that month, right? So, yeah, it's all part of the game, but I'm, I'm totally okay with it. Let's go into the woods here and get some get some footage of some autumn leaves. What are you? What are you saying? What are you saying, Ziggy? What? 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 Come up, come up. What are you mouthing at? Hey? What are you mouthing at? Stay. Sit. 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 Dread. Sit down, Dread. Hey, Tread, say gay. I think it's more than like 60% of people that watch this content aren't subscribed, which is actually still a pretty good number, which means 40% of you are subscribed watching this video. It makes me wonder though, what would be the world record for the most amount of dreads on somebody's head? I know the least amount of dreads on somebody's head is either zero or one with those Plica Polonicas and them bald heads out there but what's the most dreads ever seen on somebody's head 300 400 maybe 500 i don't know what do you think so it's it's been kind of brutal lately because i've been nursing an injury that's happened kind of all summer long i guess it was back in July or late July, early August, I sprained my ankle that I've already sprained in the past. And I've just been having a hard time getting it to heal because it keeps getting re-injured. So right now I'm off skating, rollerblading at least. Uh, quad skating actually seems a bit more supportive on the ankle for some reason. I, I can quad skate here and there, but rollerblading, I'm not, I'm not rollerblading for like the next probably two months just to make sure that it heals properly. And it sucked because I want to skate indoors. It's the end of the season. Can't really be outside too much anymore, skating wise. You no, know, I kind of got the ants in my pants, so to say. 
But the roller skating has been quite the journey this summer. Definitely very hyped on picking up a pair of Chaya roller skates and meeting a bunch of new skaters and being able to develop a new skill set and progression. Feels really good. So I'll add a few clips here of what I've been doing with my roller skates lately and I hope you enjoy. And this right now is basically just a test shot to see if this microphone is working as I'm walking here with Ziggy. I got the mic clipped in front of me and not on me. Yep, yeah, buddy. Anyways, this is the end of my journey today on this vlog. Just thought I'd share with you guys a little bit of action of what goes down here on my walks <laughs> with Ziggy in the morning. Mm. What are you doing, man? We're going home, buddy. Let's go. Yeah, we just go for little walks every day. So I expect more content like this. I hope you guys like the kind of vlog style. Um, I just like to switch up from being in the studio making videos all the time and bringing guys outside into nature a little bit more. Cause we all need that vitamin D sunshine, right? So anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Stay happy and stay natty. Natty gang, natty gang. <laughs>